Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This week I'm here with Lorena and as promised I did this look using the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette by Kat Bundy and this is how it turned out. It is a very Bollywood inspired look with a cut crease and eyeliner. I also used um, yellow eyeshadows and mixed with gold and copper because some, sometimes people are scared of using yellow and yellow is can be completely wearable, and here's proof. And so the rest of the skin was kept nude, and the lips as well, matte, and I hope you like the look. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I'm gonna leave all the info and social media links down below. Hope you like the look, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Starting off with the moisturizer as usual, and I'm using this Embryolis Le Creme Concentre. This is a great moisturizer. I'm gonna move on to base now and I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte and I'm mixing 12 and 32 which are the lightest and darkest tones in Spain at least and I'm gonna apply them with a beauty blender it's a matte foundation and it feels like a really high-end one which I'm loving at the moment I'm applying Carmex onto her lips so they're hydrated by the time we get there moving on to eyes now because there's gonna be a little bit of fallout and I'm using this paint pot by MAC and Soft Talker. This is going to cancel out any redness, discoloration, and it also is going to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing during the day. Moving on to the eyeshadows, and I'm using this Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette, and I'm taking Legend, which is a gold, a yellow base gold, very light one, and I'm going to apply that all over the lid, up to the crease. And I'm going to blend that with a 222 by MAC just so there's no hard edges. I'm moving on to Friend, which is a matte yellow, and as Zoeva Deluxe Petite Crease Brush, which is gonna be very precise for the crease. And I'm not gonna be afraid of pulling this color up, almost under the bridge of the brow, leaving a blank space over there, just so it acts as a highlight, but pretty far up anyway. And now I'm gonna concentrate that color and link it with the lashes. A bit more blending. This look is all about applying, reapplying, blending, reapplying. I'm gonna move on to a matte brown now. This is called Noble and it's a great transitional color. And I'm using that same Soiva brush that I used before. And I'm just gonna concentrate this one on the crease and just blend. I'm moving on to Vox now. I'm gonna cut the crease with this matte flat brush and I'm gonna blend with the Zoeva that we were using and I'm gonna create a wing on the outer corner lifting and towards the brow as you can see I reapplied like three times to get the exact payout that I wanted with the right blending So you can see the final result for that. I'm gonna move on to a pencil. This is by Rimmel. This is called Scandalized in Brown. And I'm gonna line her lower lashes with this. Pretty thick. And it goes thinner as it goes towards the inner corner. And I'm gonna use a pencil brush by MAC to blur that line out. Just so it looks more smoky. I'm gonna set that pencil with Hopsicore with this, um, which is a very metallic coppery shade. I'm loving at the moment. I'm also gonna use black metal, with, which is a black matte shadow with an angled brush, which is gonna allow me more, much more precision. And I'm just gonna blend with that same pencil brush that we were using before. I'm gonna take Skulls, which is a very shimmery white vanilla shade, and I'm gonna apply that to the inner tear duct just so it brings light. And now I'm gonna move on to the eyeliner, and I'm gonna use MAC Black Track and a one in brush by Makeup Forever. I don't know what my life will be without this brush. And as you can see, I'm lifting the line towards the end of the brow in little swipe motions. I don't do a straight line all at once because then the brush gets a little fatter. And with her eyes open, I'm gonna see 
how much I'm gonna extend the eyeliner toward the lashes just so it looks awesome when the eyes are open which is the point don't be afraid to pull a little bit to get the line as you want it and I'm gonna also I'm also gonna reach the inner tear down with this now I'm moving on to uh, this Avon Super Shock Black eye pencil I'm gonna line her inner and lower rims just so it doesn't look like flesh in between and we get the best definition I'm also gonna apply a little bit of that black track gel liner on the lower lashes on the outer corner just so it links up and blend it with that same pencil brush that we were using as you can see I'm not using a ton of brushes for this look I'm gonna move on to mascara I'm gonna apply this hypnose Dull Eyes Waterproof Mascara from the roots to the top of the uh, lashes and swing. I'm gonna also put on these fake eyelashes by Allure. These are number 107. These are pretty dramatic, as you can see, but I love them. This look is calling for them. I'm gonna move on to the under eye now. I'm gonna conceal with this Halo Girl HD Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige, and I'm gonna mix that with the Halo Luminizer by H&M in Champagne Gold. And I'm gonna do, as you can see, a triangular shape under her eyes, a little bit on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, a very thin line, the chin just a little bit, and the cupid's bow, and this is going to bring light to those areas, thanks to the luminizer, and I'm just going to pat with the beauty blender and make sure this product blends seamlessly with the foundation, and you cannot see where it starts and ends. You can even wet your Beauty Blender with Max Fix Plus or um, any sort of hydrated mist just so it's going to be much easier as well to blend. I'm going to also make sure my eyeliner is on full leak and I'm going to make sure I conceal if there's any mistakes or it's not as sharp as I want it. I'm going to set the under eye and all the highlighted areas that we did with both powders by Anastasia in Banana and Vanilla. So the product won't settle into the fine lines during the day. I'm going to move on to brows now and I'm going to use this palette by Anastasia as well. And with her I'm using soft brown. And I'm just going to fill in any little gaps that she has going on and accentuate the arch just a tiny bit more. I'm going to move on to blush now and this is by Milani. Bake a blush in Luminoso. And I'm gonna use a contour brush by Real Techniques because it applies very little at a time and it distributes evenly. So I'm gonna apply that on the opposite of the cheeks and blend up. I'm gonna move on to this Milani's Beauty Touch Face Illuminating Powder with a 224 by MAC and apply that uh, to the top of the cheekbones. I didn't want this look to be very glittery. And I'm going to move on to lips and I'm going to use this Makeup Forever number 26 lip pencil that is the exact same color as Soar by MAC, the famous Kylie Jenner um, lip liner. And I'm going to line her lips with this and I'm also going to fill them in just so if during the day the lipstick starts to wear off, you won't be left with two weird lines along your mouth. I'm gonna move on to the lipstick and I'm using this Velvet Teddy by MAC. This lipstick has a matte velvet finish. And here you have the finished look. I hope you like this look. I really enjoyed doing it. Don't forget to follow me on all social media, I'm going to leave the links down below and I'm going to send you a huge kiss your way. Thank you for watching.